Looking for the best metal knitting needles on the market? I've got you covered. I've tested a bunch of different brands and styles of metal knitting needles and these came out on top. In this video, I'll show you why I think they're the best metal knitting needles available and share some helpful tips on how to use them. So let's get started. All right, so in this video, we are talking about the Knitter's Pride Mindful Collection Stainless Steel Knitting Needles. And through all of the testing that I have done so far, these are the best metal knitting needles I have ever used. And in my personal opinion, they are the best metal knitting needles available right now. The knitting needles that I have here from this collection were provided by Laurel Hill for me to review. But all opinions in this video are my own and the things that I'm going to be sharing about why I think they are the best knitting needles that you could get as far as metal knitting needles go. All of those things are based on my personal testing and comparison to other brands and styles of metal knitting needles that I have tested against these. So the Mindful Collection is a complete set of stainless steel knitting needles and notions and tools that can go with them, matching project bags in a complete color coordinated collection. Let's go over why I think these are the best metal knitting needles. And of course, the most important item in the collection is the knitting needles themselves. And this is the main reason why I use this collection in a lot of my projects so far, that since I've had them anyway. So as I have tested various brands and styles of knitting needles, here are my criteria for what is a good knitting needle. So in my opinion, the best metal knitting needles are lightweight with sharp tips, flexible cords, and slick, smooth surfaces with as little friction as possible. It's also important to me that there are no paint or other markings that can rub off or scratch off with time and no areas where the stitches can get caught as they slide across the needles and as you're knitting. And so the knitting needles in this collection have all the features that I look for in a good quality knitting needle without any of the flaws that I have found in many other brands and styles of needles. So let's look at the features of this knitting needle. The most important thing that I look at in any knitting needle is the surface and the material that it's made from. So these needles have stainless steel needles and needle tips. Now of all of the needle materials I have tried, stainless steel is the best metal for knitting needles. And it's lightweight, the needles are very high quality and these have the best smooth surface of any metal needle I have tested. And believe it or not, these have the least amount of surface friction. And that's really important to me because I like to knit fairly quickly and efficiently. And I really want my stitches to be able to glide easily across my needles. I don't wanna have to stop and physically push the stitches up the needle, even if they're not very tight. You know, you can have problems pushing stitches up onto the needle, even when your stitches are plenty loose enough to allow for that. And, you know, it's just so much easier and more relaxing to knit when the stitches just glide across the needles easily. So these stainless steel needles have the least surface friction of any needle I have tested. And even other stainless steel knitting needles on the market that I have tested are not as slick as this one. I don't know what makes the difference, but this needle is more slippery than the other brands of stainless steel needles that I have tried. Now, it's not so slippery that the stitches will just fall off the needles unless they're just super loose. I haven't had any issues with stitches falling off of these needles. Of course, if you are a very loose knitter, then that can happen with any needle. And yes, a more slippery needle will make that worse. But if you just have a normal tension in your knitting, I've personally never had any issues with the slipperiness of them causing the stitches to fall off on their own. Now, the alternative materials that are typically used for knitting needles are aluminum, nickel plated, and brass. And I've tested all of those in several brands and all of them have more friction to them than stainless steel. So the stitches don't really glide as well as they do on these needles. Now, aluminum needles typically have a kind of shiny metallic looking painted coating that over time it scrapes off. 
and after a few years of using them, those needles will look kind of old and beat up because that very light color tint that they have on the surface gets scraped off as you're knitting. So that is one thing I do not like about aluminum knitting needles. Now, nickel plated and brass needles typically have less surface friction than aluminum just by a little bit, but they're still not as slick as the steel. And these metals can actually cause an allergic reaction for some people. And for some people, nickel and other, you know, cheaper types of metals can actually make your skin turn green if you have a reaction to them. So stainless steel is typically a much safer option for people with a metal allergy. All right, so the next important feature that I want to point out here is the lace tips. These are called lace tip knitting needles, and that's because the tips of the needles have a different shape to them than your standard knitting needles would. So these are a lace tip, and what that basically means is that the tapered section of the needle tip is longer. So instead of the needle tip being more like this and starting further up, and like starting about here and then tapering down from there like this, it's a longer, narrower taper on the needle tip. And the reason that they're called lace tips is because this is super handy for lace. And it actually works really well for any kind of more difficult stitches as far as decreases, cables, anything more than a knit or a purl, I mean, or a yarn over for that matter. Most any other stitch modification that makes it a little bit more difficult to insert the needle is made much easier with a lace tip needle. And even just the regular knit and purl stitches, the lace tips glide in and out of stitches so smoothly. And that is one thing that I really love about these needles. Next up, let's look at the swivel cords. Now, most interchangeable circular needles have a pretty decent quality memory-free cord that attaches to them. But these cords are another step up from your standard interchangeable needle cord. Now, these are made from nylon coated steel, which is very pliable, but they don't kink up or coil over themselves. You can see right here, I store all of my cables rolled up like this. I have some rolled up right here. And I just kind of twist them around themselves like this one right here. And they don't retain that kink when you open them up. So yes, they do have a curve to them, which you want, because you're going to be holding your needles and working with them like this, but when you store them rolled up, they do not retain the kink or the coil that they would have when they're rolled up, which is of course really important because you don't want them coiling up as you're knitting. These cords actually have some extra features that most other cords don't, and this makes them extra special. So not only are these cords marked with their size, which I have actually never seen before in a circular needle cable. It's kind of hard to see on your camera, but you can see right there, it has the little black text on it and they're marked with their size. So this is a 32 inch cord. And that actually refers to the length of the entire needle from tip to tip with the cord on it. It's not measuring the length from the connector to the connector. Not only are they marked with their size, they're also marked every inch. So if you can see that, they have little silver markings every inch so that you don't even have to get out a measuring tape to measure your knitting as far as the knitting that's on your needle because this is a measuring tape right here. It doesn't have quarter inch or half inch, but that would be kind of complicated on a needle cable and not really necessary because if you need an exact measurement, yeah, you can grab a measuring tape. But if you just wanna lay your knitting out and see, okay, this is approximately this many inches wide, you can do that without grabbing another measuring tape, which is really handy. But the most important feature that I love about these cords is the swivel. So most knitting needle cords for interchangeable needles they have a connector like this at the end, it screws onto the knitting needle tip, and then it has, extending from the connector, the flexible cord. But these have a special thing about them where that there's a little swivel mechanism right here inside this connector. And if I hold this cord still right here, you can see a little black text there that's on the front. I can spin this needle freely without moving the cord. And this is actually really convenient. It's not a necessity. It's kind of like a bonus thing that kind of makes it more of a luxury item. But 
this is a really handy feature because if you're knitting flat, right, and you're knitting across, you finish your row, then when you turn it over, you have to switch your needles, right? And with a standard knitting needle cord, when you do that switch, sometimes you get a little bit of a loop in your cable, especially if you have extra, as far as your project is not filling up the entire needle. And with these, you don't even get that loop when you flip it over because they untwist themselves, which is not a necessity, but it's really handy. And it kind of makes these cords extra special. All right, so now let's look at the types of knitting needles available in the Mindful Collection. So in the Mindful Collection, you will find fixed circular knitting needles, short circular knitting needles for sock knitting, interchangeable needles and double pointed needles, which I don't have right here, but they do make them as part of the collection. And of course, there are also stitch markers and tools and other notions available that all match and color coordinate with this beautiful shade of teal, which of course is very pretty to look at. But focusing on the needles, out of all the types of knitting needles out there, interchangeable circular knitting needles are the most versatile. So a fixed circular knitting needle has two needle tips connected by a flexible cable. And fixed circular means that they are attached to that cable. It does not come unattached. It's a permanent join here. But with interchangeable needles, these tips can actually be disconnected from the cord. So instead of having, for example, this is a size five fixed circular knitting needle, and it is a 16 inch, instead of having a size five circular needle in 16 inch, 24 inch, 32 inch, etc., etc. You can have one set of size five needle tips and multiple lengths of flexible cables. So these are all different lengths and you can attach the same needle tips to multiple different cables and get different length circular knitting needles. So that makes it much easier to have a complete collection of needles with less needles because you only need one set of tips in each size. So with circular knitting needles, you can knit flat or in the round at any circumference because not only can you knit back and forth as though you were using straight needles, but you can also knit back and forth with very, very large pieces. And that's because when you're working with a straight needle, straight knitting needles have a fixed length. So for example, if you have 10 inch or 12 inch straight knitting needles, you can only have as many stitches in your project as you can scrunch onto the length of that needle. But with a circular knitting needle, you can get cables in tons of different lengths and you can actually add them together and make them even longer than what they are on their own. So for example, this one right here is a 40 inch cable. And let's say I wanted to make a queen size blanket right? You can't put all the stitches for a queen size blanket if you want to knit it all in one piece on a 10 inch or 12 inch uh, straight needle. So if I wanted to do that, I could take multiple cables like this 40 inch, the 32 inch, however many cables you want, you can join them together with these little connectors. And I'll show you how to use these a little bit later in the video, but these connectors can join multiple cables together. So you can attach one cable to one end, one cable to the other end, and then put a knitting needle at each end of the very, very long cable and make your cable as long as you want. So you can make a project as large as you want or as small as you want on a circular knitting needle. And you can also use interchangeable circular knitting needles to create very small projects, even in the round. So if you need to work a small project in the round, what you would do is use something called the magic loop method, which I'm not gonna demonstrate in this video, but with magic loop method, you would basically have your cable looped out of the way. This is kind of hard to show with two hands, but you would have your cable looped out of the way like this and have your stitches divided in half where that part of your stitches are on this section of cable and part of them are on the needles. And it would kind of look like this. And so you can use this technique to make a circumference as small as you want in the round and 
that works really well when you're working with anything where you would normally use DPNs or double pointed needles. Now the collection does have double pointed needles available, but they are not needed if you have a set of interchangeable circulars. So technically you could have one set of interchangeable circular knitting needles in a bunch of different sizes and have a knitting needle for every project you will ever want to make. And that's why I love them so much is because they are so versatile. You can make anything on an interchangeable circular needle. Now the interchangeable circulars are my favorite, but if you knit a lot of socks, then you'll definitely want to check out this set right here. This is the Explore set and it includes eight different sizes of 10 inch circular knitting needles. So if we fold back these flaps here, you can see each one of these. And these are so cute, they are super tiny. They come in eight different sizes for knitting socks. So if I open these up here, we have size zero, size one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three and four. So most sock patterns will use a yarn that would require a needle size this small. And these needles are perfect for sock making because they're just the right circumference for making a sock. So if you are a sock knitter and you knit a lot of socks, this is the perfect set for you because these needles are actually really convenient because you don't have to worry about doing magic loop or using double pointed needles at all. You can just have one stitch marker to mark the end of your round and you can just keep knitting around and around and around in your little tube. That's the perfect size for your needles and knit socks on these. So like I said, these come in a set of eight sizes. They have these perfectly sized little pouches here where that the tips can insert down into this little pocket. And then the flaps fold in there's a lovely little notions case that comes with it. And this folds right into the needle case. So if I lay this into one corner of this circle here, we just fold it over, fold it over again, and then it has this magnetic button here that keeps it closed. So this is a very neat and compact little case and it even has the zipper pouch in there where you can store your little notions that go with your knitting needles. So this is a great set if you are a sock knitter. Now, if you really like double pointed knitting needles, they do offer them. I personally don't love them because I would rather use the magic loop method, but that option is available if you prefer to use double pointed knitting needles for small circumference projects. So you may be wondering at this point, why are there only circular knitting needles in this collection? There are no straight needles outside of double pointed needles, which are made for, for knitting in the round. And that is because although single point needles that are long with a stopper at the end and a point at the other end, those can be nice to have, but they're not really necessary because you can knit anything you want on circular knitting needles, even if you're working back and forth and making a flat piece. And I actually prefer to use circular knitting needles for all of my projects, including flat pieces, because with straight needles, you have the lengths of the needles. If this was a straight needle, it would stick out to about here. You have the length of that needle sticking out on both sides, which can both get in the way, it can get caught on the sides of your chair if you have a chair with armrests, and that extra needle length can also make your knitting feel heavier because you're not just supporting the weight of the project that's directly under your hands, you're also supporting the weight of the project that's on the needle as it sticks out past your hands. Whereas with a circular knitting needle, the stitches, most of the stitches in your project can sit on this flexible cord and kind of puddle in your lap so that you don't have to support the weight of all the stitches in your project you only have to support the weight of the knitting that's directly under your hands. And I find that more comfortable to work with. All right, so we've covered all of the knitting needles that I have in front of me here. Let's look at the other tools that are available in this collection because having this whole set of color coordinated tools is really neat. It's not a necessity, you know, you can use tools that don't match and it works just fine, but it's super cool to have kind of the whole matching set. It's beautiful and everything is made to work very well together. So let's look at some of these other tools in this collection. So first up, all of the needle sets in this collection come with beautiful cases and accessories. 
they're all they've all got some teal on them they're all color coordinated just like everything else and they're made mostly from canvas some of the cases fold to close like this one with the explore set others zip like this one this is the gratitude set and this set has of course the notions pouch in the middle that you just pop inside there it folds up and it zips around the outside of course it's a little full right now because i have the stuff spread out when it's inside the pouch it fits a little bit more compactly and it zips up very nicely now all of the little notions also come with their own cases these needles yarn needles for example come with a case and of course the stitch markers can fit into the pockets in the little cases that come with your knitting needle sets. And there are also matching project bags available. This is one of them. It has a flat piece at the bottom so that it can kind of stand up and open out a little bit more. And so this one is good for small projects, but there's also a rather large tote bag that I also have. I don't have it right here at the moment, but there is a pretty good sized tote bag that's very durable and high quality. It has the same canvas color as this bag right here, and that one I would definitely recommend as a pretty good quality, very functional project bag as well. So no matter what items you choose from this collection, they are very well organized and easy to store. So now let's talk about blocking tools. No knitting project is truly complete until it has been blocked. And the tools that are made for blocking in this collection are a really great option for blocking your projects. So they do sell a set of blocking mats that matches this collection. I don't have those, but I do have these blockers, knit blockers. And these are so much easier than using T-pins for blocking. And I really love them because they make it way more quick and efficient to block your projects. Why? Because every one of these is like being able to insert multiple pins in a straight line with one press. So when you poke these into your blocking mats, it's like being able to insert four or eight pins at the same time. This is extremely convenient and it just really helps make blocking more quick and efficient and I really love these and of course they come with their own plastic case they poke into some styrofoam down there to keep them in their places and there are little slots for each one I have some of them in here a little crooked but it doesn't really matter and then they have a lid to close the box I love these I use these when I block all of my projects definitely recommend them over t-pins and of course, there are other notions here. Some of these are the yarn needles. These are actually wooden yarn needles. And these are kind of made for larger thicknesses of yarn. So these would be pretty handy if you were using a worsted or a bulky weight yarn and you needed to sew something up or weave in a yarn tail. These are probably more suited for thicker yarns like bulky weight. But if you tend to use yarns like that, these are nice, durable, good quality wooden yarn needles. And of course, they're very pretty with this green color to them. And they come in this lovely wooden case with its own little lid. And the lid doesn't really fall off. It just kind of slides on snugly, but it doesn't like fall off easily. So these are a great option for yarn needles if you use thicker yarns. They also have some plastic yarn needles that come with some of the sets. I don't typically use plastic yarn needles. I normally go for metal darning needles, but these are definitely some pretty nice quality plastic yarn needles. Some of the plastic yarn needles I've used before tend to be really flexible and cheap quality. These are definitely an improvement over those, and they do have a notch at the top for the yarn to lay in so that as you pull the needle through, it doesn't get stuck as much right there when you, you know, slide it through the fabric that far and then you have to pull it a little more to get it through. It doesn't have that problem as much as other plastic yarn needles might. And then of course we have stitch markers. So I have both the stitch markers that come with each needle set and the bonus pack. There's like a mega bonus pack of stitch markers that you can get from this collection that are all color coordinated and they are all plastic. 
very nice quality and they come with different varieties so this mega pack of stitch markers comes with the split ring variety i have all of mine clipped together with the locking stitch markers just to keep them sorted but they do come in little kind of see-through mesh pouches that you can store them in if you like so anywho they have the split ring stitch markers the different sized closed ring stitch markers which are all color coordinated so that you always know which size you're working with and then there are also the locking type so whatever type of stitch markers you need for your project there is a matching set of stitch markers to go with your needle set in whatever variety you like now we also have these needle gauges and if you're not familiar with these basically what you do with this is poke your needle through the hole to see what number size or what millimeter size your needles are. Now for a needle gauge, these are pretty high quality. They're a very durable, strong, sturdy plastic. However, there is also a metal version. And this one of course is like unbreakable. And it also has the holes with the US size and the metric size for all of these different sizes of knitting needles. Now with the Mindful Collection needles, you may not even need a needle gauge because they are marked so clearly that you can just read the size on the needle but if you need one for any reason those are a part of this collection as well and here we have the row counter this is the clicking style row counter they also make a row counter ring which is in this rainbow colored stainless steel and this stitch marker right here is the clicking style like I mentioned and it has the button on the top. So basically what happens is when you finish a row, you press the button and it goes up to the next digit so that you can keep track of your rows. Now one of my favorite items in the collection as far as notions go are the rainbow folding scissors. These are super handy and very nice quality. So these are for snipping your yarn of course, but they fold up. So instead of Going into your knitting bag like this, where they could accidentally come open and snag or cut your yarn, they fold up like this. So here they are in their normal position. You just open them all the way until the blades slide into these little slots. And then you push them together like that. And then they have this pretty little case with the elastic loop. that You can stick them in there, zip it closed. And in my experience, this little case is much easier to feel for when you're digging down in your knitting bag to find your scissors than if you just had a small pair of scissors floating around in the bottom of your bag. And I really like these scissors. They're very sharp and good quality, and they are very nice for trimming your yarn. And last of all, I have the retractable measuring tape. This is just like any other retractable measuring tape where there's a button inside, and you basically just squeeze it in the middle and it rolls itself back up. But this one has a nice faux leather hole tab on it and a cover on the outside. And I really like this measuring tape just because of the way that it looks. It's very pretty and it matches the collection, but also the feel of the vegan leather just gives it a really nice luxury, high quality feel to it. All right, so now let's talk about pricing. So of course these needles are available as full sets with their cases and everything, but you can also buy individual needles, needle tips, individual swivel cords, and the individual fixed circular needles which do not detach from their cords start at about $10 a piece. And you will also find that the double pointed knitting needles also start at about $10 per size. Sets of multiple sized double pointed needles or DPNs start at about $60. Sets of fixed circulars start at $85. And interchangeable circular sets start at about $110. Now, these are not the most inexpensive metal knitting needles out there, but they are the best I have tried. And I think they're definitely worth the price for the quality of the needles. So this here is basically my entire collection of mindful collection items, except for the large tote bag that has a project in it somewhere in my stash. 
but this is basically everything that I have from this collection and I would definitely recommend all of them. But if you want one set of knitting needles that you can just buy that one set and never have to buy knitting needles again, I would definitely recommend this one. This is the Gratitude set. And if I move my Notions pouch out of the way here and the extra knitting needles, you can see that this set includes 14 different sizes of needle tips. The size 7 ones here are actually on this cable right here. And it also comes with several different sizes of cables. The case, which is very neatly labeled, with each slot being marked with the size of the needle that fits into those slots. And of course, like I showed earlier, it folds in half and zips closed. And then it comes with several sizes of cables in various lengths. And this nifty little pouch, which fits inside this semicircle case here. It also comes with six end caps, which are pretty handy if you want to put your project on hold for later. We'll talk about these in a few minutes. It comes with four cord keys, a pair of cord connectors, which we'll talk about these in a minute too, one needle gauge, two darning needles, which are these two right here. They come in a larger one and a smaller one. Then it also comes with 10 locking stitch markers, 10 split ring stitch markers, and 30 round stitch markers. And for many knitters, this will be the only set of knitting needles you will ever need. It's a one-time investment, and these will last you a very, very, very long time, many years, because they're just so high quality, and stainless steel is a very durable material. And honestly, the only reason you would ever need any other knitting needles would be if you wanted to knit something with very, very small needles, smaller than three millimeters or a US size 2.5, or if you wanted to knit something with the super jumbo yarns, which are kind of new to the yarn weight system. They are the ultra thick ones that they usually use for arm knitting. Other brands do sell very, very large, and I mean like humongous knitting needles for those giant yarns, but otherwise, you will have everything that you need for any project right here in this case. Other than very small socks, I personally don't plan on using any of those ultra thick jumbo yarns that require needles that are way bigger than the 17s right here. So that's not really a problem for me at all. I don't plan on using those super humongous yarns. And if you want to knit with some smaller yarns or smaller needles than a three millimeter, then you could always grab a couple of fixed circular knitting needles from the collection or even a couple of these fixed sock needles that come in the 10 inch length if you are a sock knitter. And that's basically all you'll ever need. And like I said, of course, if you knit a lot of socks, then you might wanna go for this Explore set over here with the folding case. But if you don't really knit socks very often, then this set right here, this gratitude set, will cover pretty much any project you'll ever want to make, and it will last for years to come. So I have been using these needles for over a year now, and I absolutely love them. The tips are really sharp, and they just glide into the stitches, combined with that super smooth stainless steel surface they glide in and out of the stitches so beautifully and so smoothly and these are definitely my top pick for any metal knitting needle i've tested these against quite a few other brands of metal knitting needles there are a lot of metal knitting needles that i have tried and did not like <laughs> and these are definitely the very best needles as far as metal knitting needles go these are the best ones that i've ever tested just for comparison, one other brand that I tried is this one right here, and they have kind of a signature red cable to them. These are also stainless steel. I just did not like these as well. This was one of the needles that I tested against the Mindful Collection needles, and I did not like them as well as I liked these from Knitter's Pride. Mainly because, for one, they don't have those lace tips, but one of the main things I didn't like was the bend that comes with these needles. They have a bend built into the place where it connects to the cable. And yeah, it's comfortable to hold, but the stitches have a harder time getting up over the bend. And look how fast that this taper has to go from the width of the cable connector to the width of the needle. This is a size nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a size nine tip out of the case here. If you compare that 
look at how much longer this tapered section is on the mindful collection needle. This allows the stitches to glide up onto the needle way more smoothly and easily. Whereas with this needle with the red cord, I found myself having to push the stitches over this bump and up onto the needle. Another needle that I tested against these was the Knitter's Pride Carbons, which are carbon fiber with brass tips. And I really didn't love those. They have a connection where the, the center here of the needle shaft is carbon fiber and then the tips and the connectors are brass. And they're not like bad needles, but I just didn't love that they have that differentiation in material because even though it sits flush, there's still a little bit of a, a crack in between the two where that the yarn kind of gets a little bit stuck. And I just didn't like them as well. And these, of all the knitting needles I have tested, are definitely my number one pick for a metal knitting needle. So in my opinion, these interchangeable knitting needles from the Mindful Collection are perfect. They have the best tips, the best cables, the best connectors, and overall the best design of any other metal knitting needle that I have tested thus far. And I love that the knitting needle is all one piece and one material. So there's nothing as far as seams or anything for the yarn to get caught on as they glide across. And the needle tip is made of one solid material with no seams or connections to another material at all. So the stitches can just glide smoothly across these needles without getting stuck. So I love my Mindful Collection knitting needles. They are everything I would want to have in a metal knitting needle. And whenever I feel like using metal needles, this is what I reach for every time. I don't even use the other metal knitting needles in my stash anymore. I always use these when I want a metal knitting needle. So they are definitely the best of all the needles I've tried and my favorite metal knitting needles to date. All right, so now let's look at a few tips on how to use these interchangeable circular needles. So first of all, I wanna show you how you connect these needles to their cords. Now, one common question or complaint that I have heard about interchangeable circular knitting needles is that people say they come unattached from their cable. And yes, that is possible. They can do that if you don't attach them all the way. And here's how to make sure you attach them securely. So if you see, if we look very carefully here and very closely, you can see that the cable connector here has a little hole in it, right there. And that is for tightening the connection between the connector on the cable or the cord and the needle. So all we have to do is take one of these little cord keys a paper clip would also work if you had one, but they come with the cord keys with the sets, so you don't have to worry about finding something that fits in that hole. You just insert it like this, and then use that as something to twist against so that you can unscrew or screw on the needle tips. So this is really handy as far as a way to connect and disconnect the needles. And when you use the cord keys, to attach the needle tips, you don't ever have to worry about them coming apart because you have something to twist against to tighten the needle and make sure that it is securely fastened to the cord. And when you use this to tighten the connection, you'll never have a problem with these two items coming undone or coming disconnected while you're knitting. And another thing you can use this for actually is to save your project for later. So let's say that you have a project on these size seven needles and you decide you wanna put that project on hold for a while and make something else with size seven needles. All you have to do is disconnect your needle tips. Of course, you would scrunch all the stitches that are sitting on your needles onto the cord. So all the stitches would be on the cord. Disconnect your needle tips and then grab one of these little end caps and you just screw it on Again, you tighten it against the cable key, and this will put your project on hold for you. It will hold all the stitches on the cable length without allowing them to fall off because this is basically a giant stopper that will not allow the stitches to fall off your needle. So now you are free to take those size seven needle tips and use them with another cable on another project. And this is also how you would connect 
the cable connector to make a longer cable. So if I remove this end cap here, then I can take this cable connector, which also has a hole in it, and I can screw that on. And since this one also has a hole in it, I'll take another cord key, poke it through, and then you can turn them against each other in opposite directions to tighten that connection down very securely. So this attaches to the cord connector, which you can attach to the end of another cord to make a super long one if you need to make a large project. And then you can, of course, use the cord key to loosen up that connection and detach it. Now, let's say you're working with lace or cables or some other type of stitch pattern that's kind of complicated and you really don't want to have to go through the hassle of having to, you know, if you make a mistake, unravel your work and then have to pick all those stitches back up and get them on the needles right, especially when there's a lot of increases, decreases, yarn overs, cable crosses, etc. And one thing you can do to help minimize that is adding a lifeline to your project. And a lifeline is basically when you take a piece of thread, like crochet thread, or some other type of smooth thread that's pretty thin, and you thread it through your row of knitting every so many rows. And so then if you realize that you've made a mistake, let's say two, three rows back, and your last lifeline was five rows back, then you can unravel to the lifeline, and that string will hold that row of stitches so that you can unravel the following rows that maybe there's a mistake in there somewhere and thread those stitches back onto your circular knitting needle and keep going from that point. So one trick you can use is to add a lifeline by using the hole in the needle here. So you just have to get a thread, a smooth thread for your lifeline that is thin enough to go through this hole and carefully insert it through this little hole where we put our cord key right there. And if you just insert your piece of string through that hole, and you definitely wanna make sure that there's enough length in it that when you pull the end through, I would recommend tying it together with the length of the string so that it doesn't slip out. But you just thread the string through that hole tie the end to the rest of the string so that it doesn't slip out, like I said, and knit across your row. And as you knit, that lifeline will be threaded through all your stitches in that row as you're knitting it. So that's a really convenient way to add a lifeline without having to stop and take a yarn needle and then put the lifeline through every stitch across your row, especially in a large project. So to finish this video off, should you buy Mindful Collection knitting needles? I would say if you're looking for the best metal knitting needles, then you should definitely check these out. If you're looking for a budget-friendly, like a really cheap budget-friendly set, then this is not it. This is definitely a higher quality, more luxury knitting needle set. But if you're looking for the best quality and the best design in a metal knitting needle, then definitely check these out. I will link them down below. Like I said, these are the most high quality, well-made, well-designed knitting needles as far as metal knitting needles that I have tested yet. And I've tested quite a few. And with this one set, you will have every knitting needle you will ever need unless you want to make something with super humongous yarn or super tiny yarn and super tiny needles for a very, very fine gauge project. So if you are looking for the very best metal knitting needles, I would highly recommend the Stainless Steel Knitter's Pride Mindful Collection needles. You will not be disappointed. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know your favorite metal knitting needle brand in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, making sure you click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching.